Distinguished colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, it gives me particular honor and pleasure to take part in this event of the highest level for a fitting commemoration of the 75th Jubilee of the establishment of the strongest security alliance in the world, NATO. While welcoming this Jubilee, allow me to express my wholehearted congratulations to Sweden and Finland on their NATO accession, which significantly strengthens the, the alliance. It is more than clear that NATO can be prepared to defend every inch of allied territory at all times, in accordance with Article 5, only when it is united, strong, and cohesive. However, the sustainability of this function requires all of us to maintain the continued fulfillment of the undertaken defense investment measures of at least 2% of the GDP annually for defense spending. A few months ago, the Assembly of North Macedonia adopted a declaration whereby we marked the fourth anniversary of the country's NATO membership and the 75th anniversary of the establishment of the alliance, thus manifesting awareness of the responsibility to fulfill the obligation arising from NATO membership and the contribution to the realization of the collective defense. At the same time, as Assembly, we have lent our support to joint decision of the NATO Parliamentary Assembly to defend shared democratic values through the establishing a democratic resilience center at NATO headquarters. Since its initial stage, we stand by it, further reaffirming this through the declaration adopted at the recent spring session in Sofia. We are aware that we are NATO member state in a fragile region in which not all countries are member, members of NATO or have a varying level of partnership with the alliance, as well as many malign external influences. However, we remain committed to promoting an atmosphere and policy of regional stability. We realize this by continuing the tangible contribution to the K4 cooperation of NATO in Kosovo and in light of the current security challenges, we are active in the NATO mission in Iraq and the resolute support for Ukraine. These challenges also call for raising of the level of the unique and essential partnership with the European Union in order to strengthen its strategic complementarity with NATO. All member states and their parliaments should devote special attention to the NATO-EU structural dialogue which encompasses resilience protection of the critical infrastructure, continued support for Ukraine and improvement of the capacities of the defense industry. And to conclude, naturally, I would like to state and highlight the importance of our vocalness, so vocality of the parliaments and parliamentarians as an irreplaceable democratic instrument to calibrate all citizens' needs and priorities because without parliaments, governments are powerless to realize the strategic goals they have set. In this context, I would like to stress the irreplaceable role and contribution of the NATO Parliamentary Assembly as a link between parliaments and people of the Alliance and the NATO. Thank you. Thank you very much.